Good afternoon, I'm Ali. I'm Mark. And together we are Ali and Mark Travel Trails. And welcome to the beautiful San Trey. Um, if you see us moving, don't worry, it's because the captain's just informed us that he's got to move the ship. So um, that can make change, which would be nice. So what we're going to do is a quick uh, review uh, on yesterday, but it's totally going to be unedited. We're just going to waffle, go for it, and, and then send it on to onto our uh, platforms. Yeah. So day one was embarkation. We left um, home just in Thursday, almost in Wednesday, to travel down to Heathrow. Uh, lots of road closures when they're at evening travel, but yeah, got to Heathrow in plenty of time to fly with British Airways to Barcelona. Yeah, there was, uh, early flight, so five or six in the morning, landed, uh, not into this beautiful weather, but into a bit of a storm yeah. as we landed yesterday in Barcelona. Um, rain, wasn't it? It was pouring down with rain. Um, got through arrivals, which took a bit of time, and then we thought we'd try and find our resume representatives to get our transfer from Barcelona to the ship. However, there was a slight, shall we say, hiccup there. Uh, we wasn't on the manifesto as such, even though we'd yeah. paid and had documentation. It was um, very much, your name's on the list, you're not coming on. Very much so, but they were very helpful. Uh, we managed to, well, they suggested getting a cab and then speak to customer services once we got on board, which we did, and it was dealt with resolved very quickly and very professionally once we uh, got on board. I'm itself. a bit of a believer of fate and everything happened for a reason. So we got to the port a bit earlier, dropped our bags off, did want to check that this wasn't the taste of things to come, and we had a cabin, so our cabin was still there and we were still on the cruise. Um, because there was no one else there, we flew through check-in and as such were given um, first boarding yeah. slot, which yeah. is lovely. <laughs> because the weather was so poor, we had to in the terminal anyway, uh, we was given a card saying boarding party number one. So we didn't realise if it was this was part of what happened, but they were just making it up to us, or we'd just been very lucky. So either way, we, we took, took it. it. Uh, third couple on. Third couple on, straight through to the safety brief. Uh, which we had to do before you could do any speciality bookings or spa bookings. So we did all that. So they give you a glass of bubbles when you yeah. get there. Yeah, so glass of bubbles, that took about five minutes. Uh, went for a very nice lunch yes. on the back of the ship where the uh, buffet is. Uh, and then wandered around the ship and uh, yeah, really enjoyed a good day. Yeah, you're allowed to get into your cabin today with half past one. Yeah, half past one. So we had an hour to eat and do stuff, get in the cabin, beautiful. Um, there'd be a full cabin tour that Mark will do and that will be up on YouTube when we get home. Um, and then what did we do? Then we decided to unpack and then go to the sail away, which oh, unfortunately yeah. was inside because of the weather, uh, but it was a uh, Grand Prix um, themed as such with it being the Grand Prix cruise. Uh, very, very good. Uh, canapes, which turned into my buffet as such, Glass with of bubbles, with the bubbles yeah, and the entertainment manager, yep, director, was he was performing very good. Um, and then we decided to go for tea in the main dining room, which was uh, Freedom Dining on here, so there's no sit times, uh, which was okay, beautiful, beautiful tea. Yeah, they kept talking up the wine. So, um, with Azamara, basic drinks are included in your cruise fare. Uh, basic is really good, to be fair. There's, there's choices of wines, cocktails, cocktails, cocktails is an extensive cocktail list. Some spirits, um, uh, yeah. soft drinks, and teas and, and coffees. Teas and coffees the speciality coffees, though, are the like, flavoured ones. They don't have Yeah, you that. add a shot of beans or something yeah. in it to make the cost to it. So you can upgrade then your drinks package to other levels. Um, we're not going to. That's good. Because this five days, this suits us. So, yeah. Um, Really good. And then we went to the variety show, there's the Pursuit Variety Show, which was really to showcase the entertainers on, on the ship who was going to be performing throughout the cruise. And uh, they did like one song each, uh, so it was about eight songs, uh, some dancers, uh, it was really good. And then they did a group performance, a group song at the end, as such. We did, it was really good. And then the entertainment manager came on, he did a song as well, and then uh, introduced his team. Uh, and then that was really it, because we were very tired due to the uh, travelling and being up for 24 hours. hours. Um, we decided to call it a day and then uh, woke up to this beautiful site today. Yeah, um, so our idea for this is just to give a quick overview. Um, when we get home, we'll do our full on summary of ship where we will score yeah. the main um, facilities and, and the elements that we find important to us. So keep an eye out for that when we get back. But for now, um, we are going to. Go and enjoy Saint Tropez, get on the tender. Which will be the first time for me. Um, and then 
we will check in and tell you all about day two a little bit later. So please like and uh, yeah. like, subscribe to all our platforms uh, on what's out there, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow with a trip. Hopefully not being sick on a tender. Yeah, I'll take my camera because <laughs> mind you, to be fair, if it's going to be anyone, it'll be me. So, um, but whatever you're doing today, have a great day, and we'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much.